This is what passes for a top end rebuild in Possum Living Garage, also known as the Wiley e. Coyote Workshop of Doom. You can see this engine block is just coated with mud. And so I've got this mud covered rag that I'm using to try to keep from getting too much mud into the cylinder, I mean into the crankcase. So this is the cylinder mounting face. And this, this little hole right here is where the oil pressure comes out. That comes from the oil pump which is right in here. I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a sprocket right there that uh, when this cam chain is in its proper position it turns that sprocket and drives the oil pump and uh, some of that pressure comes out this hole right here and it goes through a little channel that's milled into the bottom of the uh, cylinder and over to here you can see where the the clean spot is. It just comes over here and then runs down along this cylinder stud into the head and pressure lubes the uh, the rockers and the cam and so on. And I've got new rings to go on the piston and uh, I'll probably put those on today I just checked the uh, end gap clearance on the rings on the top ring and the spec is six to fourteen thousandths with twenty thousandths absolute maximum so I put the top ring in the cylinder from the bottom and uh, you just have to be really careful starting it and then use the piston to push it down so it stays pretty level and there's the gap and six thousandths fits just fine and fourteen thousandths sticks and doesn't go all the way to the bottom so it's in spec so carefully pull the ring back out okay that's the top ring The top ring is the one that has a silver coating on it. And the middle ring is all black. Also, if you look at these rings with a magnifying glass, you'll see that near the end of one of them, on one side, will be some letters. Letter or letters and that side goes up towards the head so that's up and that's up Tell you what, it's been raining here for a few days, so there's not much I can do outside. But uh, it's a good day for doing this. And I watched a video earlier of Tom Martin riding his three-wheeler in the creek about six feet deep. 
with uh, just the front wheel and the gas tank and handlebars sticking up out of the water, standing almost straight up. Okay, I've got all the rings in, so the gaps are supposed to be 120 degrees apart. So, let's see, put the middle ring right about there and the top ring about there on either side of the intake valve clearance. And I'm going to lube them with some brake free because that's what I've got in here. The larger clearance cut is the intake and it has an N cast into it. N as in November. Okay, so we're looking at the bottom of the jug here and the intake side is the upper portion. The cam chain pocket is going to be on the left looking from the bottom. So, the intake side of the piston goes that way. And I'm going to stop the camera so I can concentrate on getting the rings started without breaking them. Since I don't have a ring compressor here. So, it's still raining and stuff is happening. Here's the chain cavity gasket lower end, and it goes in there first. Now the new wrist pin sir clip goes in there. Sir clip. I just don't understand people who don't carry a knife. It's okay, they don't understand me either. more free Harbor Freight goodies.
snip, and there it went. Might as well put this back in there. <laughs>